In this video, we're going to take a look at different sketch entity types. So here I'm going to begin by looking in this brand new two-dimensional sketch, and I'm going to start a two-point center rectangle. Here I'll just build it around my origin. And what we notice about this two-point center rectangle is it has two yellow lines crisscrossing across the corners. These two lines here are called construction lines. They essentially exist here to help us build geometry, and this command in particular creates them automatically. We can also create our own construction lines manually if we so desire. So I'm going to start my line command and just start building off this shape a little bit. If I'd like to repeat what I see down below with a crisscrossing of construction lines, I'll begin my line command again and I'll go up here and toggle on my format panel to construction. Now the line that I create is a construction line. Notice how the construction format stays toggled on. So you may have to remember to toggle this off if you don't want the next line you create to be construction. There's another way we can toggle that on as well. So if I create my line command again, and then right click, I can go to construction from my right click overflow menu. And here I'll crisscross this again. Now perhaps I would like a center line as well. A center line is another entity type that we see more often used on revolved profiles, but here we're just going to showcase how to enact the center line tool. So I'm going to create a line again, right click and choose center line, and here I will go from this midpoint down to this midpoint here. Now this happens to be a construction center line. If I toggle off the construction aspect of this, by selecting it and then choosing construction, you can see it is no longer construction colored, however it is still a center line. To make this a little bit more logical, I'm going to just quickly use a vertical constraint while that center line is selected to straighten this out. As you can see, the center line has changed its color because it is now a fully constrained line. Now if I were to right click and finish my sketch, and try to start extruding my profiles. I will see that I will pick up this side of the profile, this side of this profile, because it's being separated by that center line, and down below, I only have the one large profile, because anything dealing with construction lines does not play into profile selection, so that way I don't get a bunch of triangles. I'm going to reactivate my sketch by double clicking on sketch one here from my tree, and I also want to point out that you could see additional manual formatting inside sketches as well, although it's not as common to do what I'm about to show you. If I were to select on this line on the right hand side, I can right click on it and go to properties for that line. Here I can change the line color, the line type, and the line weight. So there it just appears differently. However, if I was going to try to extrude this again, I would still pick up a valid profile on that right-hand side of that rectangle. So this is a visual-only adjustment compared to a center line entity or a construction entity, which operate a little bit differently. To recap, construction lines can help us create complex shapes without having to sacrifice our profile geometry, so it aids us in helping us create the more advanced sketches that we might require. The center line type is also beneficial for that same purpose, but also has an additional ability when we get to the revolve functions of our features to do a revolved axis based on that center line, as well as help us with linear diameters. In the end, these are just two different entity types that we might see in sketches and utilize throughout the course.